Leo. <clears throat> Excuse me, Leo. Leo, welcome. I have been a bit of an allergy attack, so bear with me. I'm going to do jump right in here. Uh, just to let you guys know that I don't always post on the same day for you guys. Uh, depends what work is doing and travel and all that other stuff. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. But thank you all for being here. Let's get started. Let's see what your current energy is. <clears throat> Freedom. Freedom has been coming out for a lot of the signs lately. And this is in your current energy. So maybe you're feeling trapped into something. Maybe you feel like there's no other option. But let's see what is going on for you. We have the sun. Your card. Seven of cups. Ten of cups. Hanged man. Seems like there's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, and again, as we're looking at this freedom... We have the King of Swords underneath the deck. Uh, it just seems like there is a lot of uncertainty as what to do to bring about this Ten of Cups for you. So this could be in, definitely in love or some type of commitment. There doesn't seem to be a lot of action, and you're trying to look at it from different ways with the Hanged Man here. But we see that you're stuck in that that thinking right now. <clears throat> So let's have a look. Let's see what your desire is. Desire for Leo, please. Justice. Why is justice here in your desires? I must get there is something that you feel is due you. Ooh, the double justice shows up. Well, that is very interesting. It seems like things have been unfair for you. And you really think that there is a way that this should balance out in your favor. It may feel like it's been a really hard go. There's been a lot of uncertainty. Um, just feels like you've been done wrong. <clears throat> and... With that desire, it's like, you know, I've worked. What do I do with this stuff? You know, I've put my efforts forward. I'm thinking things through. You know, I just don't know what to do. But we see that justice is, needs to be satisfied here. So the outcome is empowerment. empowerment. Let's clarify that. King of Wands. Talk about being empowered, we have the King of Wands. Uh, five of Coins, the Star card, Six of Wands. With empowerment being here and the King of Wands, yeah, this is a step up. King of Wands is also your energy. So feeling like you are... I want to say feeling like you're meant to be where you are. The Five of Coins, where you're able to start working things through and bring about your heart's desire. <clears throat> bring about some healing. Bring about um, hope, optimism, better times overall. And then, of course, we have the Six of Wands, which is stepping up into that success. Six of Coins, Knight of Wands, Devil, and the Empress. Now, this is what's working for you. So the six of coins can be a gift from the universe, but this can also be reciprocity in a situation where things have felt that they haven't been, like you've been done wrong again. There's lots here. Um, this could be with a marriage, with the Empress card. But it seems this you're taking action. You're kind of putting it forward, going, you know what? No, things are things are changing. And I'm I'm particularly drawn to the eye here and the sail uh the sailing ship on his hand. So we see that there is intuition and also we have this ship where you know something is starting to move. So this is you taking action. So what do you need to be aware of? Eight of coins. So there is a new start. 
Eight of Wands, Lovers, and the Chariot. Very interesting because there's something here that you really want to work on. With the Eight of Wands, there can be this information regarding a love interest or a choice. But whatever this is, it's coming in quickly. Uh, it also, you know, to drive a chariot takes skill. So this is not for, <laughs> this is not like for beginning lovers only. This is a relationship that can be rocky. It can go in many different directions. But that either way, we do have that sort of thing that you may not even see it coming in. So let's pull three more cards around this. Three of coins. Strength. Knave of wands. So all three of your cards have shown up. So you are showing up heavily in this read. Uh, this is about working on what you're going to do. Starting to make those uh, gains. Putting in that effort, that making that recognition. And once you start doing that, we see the uh, Page of Wands here. And this Page of Wands uh, brings in better news around work. So let's pull a couple more. Oracle, career, there you go. Dreams, answers, and trust. Trust that your you will get the answers that you need. Start to dream again. We have the Star card and dreams. So there's a lot of double uh, confirmation is what I need to say. Double confirmation in this. So a lot of focus on career, understanding what your dreams are with respect to that, and trust that the answers are coming. Those answers are coming for you to help manifest the things that you want uh, in your life. But that's what I have for you today, Leo. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up, thumbs down, or leave me a comment in the section below. We'll see you soon. Stay safe.